The word of the Lord says that unless the Lord builds a house, the builder build it in vain. And this same word says that children are a blessing. The food of the womb is a blessing to every home, to every parent. So today we are going to be dissecting this wonderful topic and i'm not alone before i introduce our wonderful guest hello royal welcome back to queen mother's chamber you are welcome i am always elated to have you here and if it's not your first time seeing my face i love you if it's your first time of course please join this family by subscribing do like the video do share do all the useful things that you need to do because obviously you're going to love it on this channel you're welcome i am back to i am a post dikum i am a mother a wife a believer i love working i love anything that's to do with women empowerment if a human being empowerment if you be human being where god actually born you or create you i love you so anything that has to do with your empowerment in every sphere in every domain yes i am here for it so that is what we do on this channel we dish out every useful information that is going to help us so today <laughs> please let me know about shape because this is my damn that she's an etiquette woman so let me pose very well okay so today we are having a wonderful guest we are seeing my attitude change <laughs> so she's a sister i know her way back secondary school so we have been together she was my maid of honor Ooh, i'm shy <laughs> So we're having this wonderful lady. Shall we say, Mrs. Please? Oh, the single brothers off your eye. Mm, close it, close it. Mrs. Nguti in the building. Oh, Marie, welcome to Kim Wanda's Chamber. Thank you very much for having me. It's an honor. Indeed, it is. See, I am the scatter person. She's the host. So please, in case I'm scattered, I don't say that I look at your own kind of friends and then I'm just crazy. Take me like that, okay? So, please, can you introduce yourself to my royals? Good evening, beautiful royals. God bless you. My name is Nokome Sodemari Epu Sumutsi Ngwa. I am a mother, I am a wife, and I'm a kingdom financier. Oh, that's who I am. I love that part of kingdom financier. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So it's see, it's always like a blessing being with you. And I decided to hear that mm -mm. I cannot come and see Marie. I don't make a video. Why? Like, why do you have such rich resources and you don't make use of them? What is it? Mm? So thank you very much for accepting our invitation. So you're a, you're a mother of two. Mm -hmm. A girl and a boy, wonderful little kids, and both are on that too. Ha! I don't know. How do you feel first of all about this? Um, I would say I feel privileged. I did not envisage that I was going to do that type of back to back. Back to back, yeah. <laughs> but as the Lord will have it, we plan, but God executes His own perfect will for us. So I want to believe that. This is God's perfect will for me, mm -hmm. and I am walking in, in it in this path, and I'm trusting Him that He's giving me all the grace that is needed for it. Right. It's it's a beautiful journey. It's really a beautiful journey. <laughs> yes. Because I have I know some people that mm -hmm. um, they have that first child and they are not expecting the next child, and it just comes and they feel depressed, like they're really going to real depression. Mm -hmm. So how I don't know were you depressed and sitting worried or how did you do it? Um, the story is a long one. Yes. <laughs> For the audience, it's quite long, but I want to believe that you know a part of the story. Yes. But I will say, going back to my 100 dreams that I wrote when I was in my in the university mm -hmm. years, I had written down that I was going to be a mother of four kids. Mm -hmm. I was going to be a mother of a set of twins. Mm -hmm. And the two later we're going to be seeing those. Yeah. And as God will have it, He says in His Word that write down the vision, make it plain, that He will see it, will run yeah. with it. I was privileged to be the one to run with that vision that I wrote. Now, coming back to my situation, I was not depressed after the first child. I was not depressed in eagerness of having another one. Okay. I was going through another part of. I will say hurt and trusting God, but it was not in anticipation and crying and yearning and hungering for another. Mm -hmm. No, it was me believing that the God who said it, 
the god yeah. who permitted me to write it will surely bring it to fulfillment mm -hmm. so i think i i may have wanted it another way mm -hmm. but because he had said it he decided to do it his own way yeah. so at no point in time did i feel depressed in fact my second pregnancy was a very beautiful one. Oh, wow. it was a very beautiful one because little or very few people knew that I was pregnant. pregnant yeah. Yes, I'm sure you myself you, you knew that I was get I was pregnant before, before I, you I put, put to bed. bed. Yeah. Yes, very few people. Mm -hmm. I was confident, and God gave me enough. That's there was a word He gave me in my first pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I know. I remember the times I'll call you, you pray for me, you tell me this. Yeah. He told me that I miss all of what is happening. Mm -hmm my grace is sufficient mm -hmm. he gave me the scripture that says that i will be with you up till the very end mm -hmm. so i believed that where i was at that point in time i was just on the road i was just on the path and god was with me until i get to the end no one should feel discouraged or depressed yeah. in your waiting season mm -hmm. your waiting season is your faith season mm -hmm. yeah. it should not have anything to do with fear mm -hmm. because even the bible says that even if you walk through the valley of the shadow of death mm. so something is certain that path yeah. is certain but something is more sure more certain that god is with you mm -hmm. and if god is with you not even you can be against you yeah. so please don't be depressed in wow. that waiting season rather let it be your season of faith I love that it should be your season of faith. So even if you're waiting for a child, let it be a season of faith. If in case you are not waiting for a child and it just came unexpectedly according to my heart, because actually we are the one who says unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. But the Lord knows that that is the right time. Yes. Because I, I believe that now that when you look behind, I feel like, or I believe that you are like, okay, actually having the child at this particular point in time was actually the best idea. I know because back then you would be like, mm -mm, I'm not ready, like, I'm not ready, I don't want this. But now that you're already there, you, you are just like, Okay, thank God for this happened. Mm -hmm. So, during that season, during that phase, it's like the world is crumbling on you. But now, when you have gone through the valley and then you see the refined goal, you see your son, I'm like, Okay, <laughs> so the five boy, boy, ah, so you're like, Ah, God, thank God, I even brought him during this period so right now i want to ask you how do you feel when maybe you are not at home because they are little children yes the peace of mind that you have in case you even have because they will not say the peace of mind i mean you don't even have the peace of mind so <laughs> let us be clear here so do you have peace of mind knowing that you have children at home i know you're a working mom you are, you are you are a minister in your own domain you are a financial guru you are whatsoever so doing all those things and you have little children to cater for like what gives you the peace of mind that you have in case you do have that i will not even try to coin it to be perfect because it's not perfect but what is certain is that the grace of god mm. abounds in this journey of mine i'm not the first but i'm a different kind of working mom. I have two children under two. I work from eight to probably seven, sometimes 11 p.m. at night. Yes. yes. And I'm a wife. Mm -hmm. And I have a purpose that I have to fulfill. Mm -hmm. So juggling all of this in my own capacity, I have failed a lot. But I want to tell you that when God is in it, mm -hmm. he sorts it out. Because this is where you know that help is not is not something that you, you want. It's something which is needed. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit helps you with persons. He helps you with ideas. Mm -hmm. He helps you. Sometimes I'm in the office and when I want to worry about my kids, I worry until I get to the point where I'm like, God, can I go further? I begin to worship. And in that worship, I see that I am at rest. Not that I forget that I have kids, but I look at the bigger picture and I say, I am that woman that wants my daughter to see me as the virtuous woman she's looking up to. Are we saying that the Oprah Winfrey's are not good? Are we saying that the Pastor Funkes are not good? No, but it's about time we become those whom we want our children to look up to. And I want to believe that as a nurturer that I am, I have the gift 
I have the capabilities to be to multitask. Mm -hmm. There's this adage that says the condition may come jam 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 back then. But I want to bring this to you. That's very untrue. Mm -hmm. You know about the local name for some bonga. Yeah. There's bonga. even kuta. There's a whale. All fish or fishes have the potential of bending their back. Mm -hmm. You cannot say that it's just crayfish, yeah. janga. Not only janga, if you bend. You bend. No, you can bend. Can't you bend? I can. So everybody has that potential. Mm -hmm. It's in me. If I've been able to do it for one month, I can do it even longer with the help of God. Now, I'm not outstretching myself just to please man, just to attain a certain, the first woman who did it. No, there's no crown for that. Mm -hmm. But what is my focus? I am looking at the child that I God graced me to bear here on earth. Mm -hmm. This child has an excellent spirit. This child is made for signs and wonders. This child has been given to me as an assignment so that he or she will fulfill this purpose. Mm -hmm. So what am I doing in that? I said I want, I, I, I'm a kingdom financier. It needs to start from my home. Yeah. We have to know that the church begins from our home. If I cannot tell my children that it is important, it is needful for you to be able to work and earn. So for you to be able to job and earn so that you can be able to have something to work. Mm -hmm. They will get the wrong picture from outside. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing it now so that it will not be difficult for me to preach the gospel. Yeah. It will be a lifestyle that they would have seen, lived, and they will be able to emulate from it. Yes. And it's like I said, I will not coin it to be perfect. Yes. It's not perfect. There are times when it gets hard, but you need to build a very encouraging community around you. Yeah. You need to be able to have a great support system. Sometimes I want to crash, and my husband will tell me, now, look at the days they look longer but the years will look shorter wow. what is the bigger picture mm -hmm. where do you want to see yourself in five years where do you want to see your kids in 10 years mm -hmm. so look at that bigger picture i think it's going to give you some level of rest mm. wow so actually we are the first bible even that our children are going to read because mm -hmm. Why they cannot read a, a book, why they cannot read much words, Alberka, they can see mommy and daddy doing yes. some things and they can emulate that. So when they see you being pushful, they're like, yeah, I need to be pushful like my mother, I need to be pushful like my father. So how intentional are you with the education? Because being a full-time working mother is not easy. So now, how do you have time to be able to ensure that these values are placed or are instilled in your children? Because you don't have a lot of time with them. Priorities, I would say. You have to be able to forego certain things for now. Wow. At this point in my life, I want to believe that there are things which are necessary. Yes, at the level because you be pass of them now. There are certain things that I must do now. Yes. Like grooming my children, instilling those values in them. I need to do it now. Mm -hmm. So you see, some certain gatherings, I cannot be there. Because first, I need to be there for my family. On my Sundays, Saturdays, weekends, I make sure that I am able to, by example, show my children that this is the way. Mm -hmm. So we have devotion mornings sometimes in the evenings i'm able to help out with her assignments i'm able to communicate with the people in the house in my household in love to be able to show them that this is the way i'm able to be able to reconcile these children mm -hmm. with themselves mm -hmm. like teach oh like i wake up in the morning and i say oh zara please give your brother a hug mm -hmm. Let's pray. And she quickly claps her hands. She wakes up in the morning because she knows that he's still a baby. She uses her palm and she does this to teach him to clap because she has seen me doing it. She has noticed that this is a trend. This is the way it's being done. And she knows that, okay, at a certain point in time, she needs to be able to grab a bottle and give her brother because she has watched me do it. I will not say that I'm there 24 on 7, mm -hmm. but the three hours or the two hours that I have, I'm present, I need to be present, oh. fully present, not present 
while being distracted, not mm -hmm. present, making calls, getting guests. No, I need to be fully present. This is the time of my life where I will need to sacrifice certain things yeah. because I want my children to get a certain foundation. Mm -hmm. Because when they have left the baby stage mm -hmm. and they are mature enough, mm -hmm. I feel that God will grace me mm -hmm. with another season of my life where I can yeah. overtake. Because in this kingdom that we are, overtaking, overtaking is, allowed. is allowed. Wow, when you were speaking, I just remember, uh, I once heard Reverend Funke saying that when her children were growing up, we did not know her yes. at a certain point. Like, yes. she dedicated herself to her kids and maybe arranging her own life and her home. And after a certain period, she took over. So now, it means that we do not have to feel depressed. We do not have to feel like we are behind, we are lagging. Why am I asking this question? Because there are some parents or some mother who feel like I am lagging behind. Like my, my peers have gone ahead of me. No, I think it's, a, it's, it's okay for you to feel that way. Yes. It's okay because this embodiment of yours, you, mm -hmm. have feelings. you have feelings. It's very okay for mm -hmm. you to feel like you're left behind. Mm -hmm. It's very okay for you to be like you're lagging at certain things. Mm -hmm. The trend, social media, mm -hmm. you're not on E. For some of us who are YouTubers, I've been out of YouTube for some time, yeah. and I see people getting earnings and all that. I know that the vineyard that I have mm -hmm. is not the same not as that of my neighbor. The Bible says that Paul planted Apollo's water. Mm -hmm. He who made it to grow is God. God. But if Paul did not plant and but Apollo Apollo's did not water, water no matter how the grace of growth comes there yes. is no seed on ground True. so i am in my season of planting yeah i am in my season of tilling. Mm -hmm. i cannot compare with someone who is in his or her season of pruning yeah. we are two different people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i need to be able to focus intentionally yes. to do my work mm -hmm. and ensure that i do it diligently so that when the time for reward will come, then I will. I'm, I'm one of those people who I'm not moved by half big testimonies. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a rush to say, God brought me from here to there and what. Yes. I believe that my story will be that which men will see and give God glory. Amen. Yes. I don't believe it will be something that I will need to convince you mm -hmm. a lot. Then that God brought me from here. No. Mm -hmm. The Bible yes. says in Matthew that men will see the works of God in your life mm -hmm. and they will give him glory. Yes. That, that's, I feel that I'm taking those baby steps. Mm -hmm. It is possible and okay for you yeah. to overtake. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm in my season of tilling and planting. So if now a seed mm -hmm. is not planted not all seeds are planted and you see yeah. some you have to dig deep sure. you have to cover them deep mm -hmm. and cover them and put them so that they bake wow. so that when they shoot their roots and so wow. don't be pressured by what is happening around you mm -hmm. celebrate those who are going ahead. Yes. But don't be pressured. Don't use it as an opportunity for you to feel depressed, mm -hmm. for you to feel laid back, for you to stop doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. No. Whenever you see someone hitting a milestone, someone changing levels, celebrate this person yes. and envisage envisage that if God is in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. trust me, yours will it's be better, bigger. Yes. Amen. Be bigger. Wow, I really just love that point because we really need to understand our seasons and we need to embrace it with the help and the grace of God. Right. It's going to help us not to feel envious yes. over other people, other people or yes. not to feel angry when another person gives a testimony, not to feel like, uh -uh, why is it not me in this position? Because if the Lord tells us that no, this is your time and your season, that is why we need to walk hand in gloves with the Holy Spirit to tell us that, okay, this is what I'm taking you through. So with all everything that we'll be saying on this channel, it's always to tell you that please have a personal relationship with the Lord so that he will teach you. He's going to tell you what season you are in your life. Because if you don't know that, you always feel like something is wrong with you. But rather that is your season the Lord is taking you for a better and yeah. greater tomorrow. Yeah. So today you need to walk with it one milestone before another. Little by little you are going to get there. So Marie, I don't know. What advice do you have to a mother who is listening to you out there? She's a young mom and she's listening to you or she has a lot of things to do. Like she has work, she has home to take care of, she has kids. Like children are just giving her high blood. Mm -mm. I said to she's like, mm -mm. I beg when I just stay on her side. So I want to breathe, I want to take air, I want to like, she just feel like the, mm, I've got it up to, yeah. 
how can she really manage this? Like, what can you? Because you, first of all, this is really a for another day. By God's grace, if you accept, eh, that we come again, which I know you accept, uh -huh. you know, because you know you're having a long distance relationship with your yes. spouse. Mm -hmm. So you actually are living in that moment where, when Jezara is making boom, 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 the son is making boom, 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 they help you to be clean. Your boss is calling you, you are, so you're actually living it. So how do you manage it not to really go insane? Because at times with the son of Dwala, you can really go mad. In Christ alone, my hope is found. I want to tell any woman who is out there, you are out. Step into Christ. Mm. Let's start from there. Mm. For free. Like, it's one of it's the safe I cannot say one of the safest places. It's the safest place to find yourself. Yeah. Am I saying that at that place the enemy will not come knocking? He will. But trust me, it's the only place where when he comes through one door, he will flee in several different ways. Yes. It's the only place where you will you a lot of things will be hurt. You will go through a lot, but God will keep you sane, he will mm. keep you whole. He's going to sort each and everything out. Mm. Now, let me come back to the logical part of it. Ha. For you to be sane, my dear, you need to have an identity for yourself. Because I, who is having to juggle all of this, there's another person who is doing that. Who is able to juggle also yes. there's a stay at home mom who is doing this but what is your identity mm -hmm. i know that for some reason at some point in time i am called to finance a lot the budget that god has placed in me i feel like it requires me to go through this season mm -hmm. because of that background that i have i know that at this point in time all i need is grace I need grace mm -hmm. and that grace is available for you yes. it is very much available for you set your priorities straight don't tr try to do everything try to please all of us mm -hmm. try to be everywhere social media home media in-law media just be everywhere yeah. you are the most favorite most best my dear they will give you that title but you will not have peace of mind because you are not meeting the goal mm -hmm. that which you have. Mm -hmm. So I want you to be able to have an identity for yourself. Mm -hmm. In Christ Jesus, I want you to be able to set your priorities straight. Take a book, write it down. I'm big on writing. Mm -hmm. Write it down. You may not do it every day. You can skip some of those days. Write it down. Write them down where you want to be. All the things that you're doing, be able to know that you have a good support system. There are communities out there who are willing to support you to be able to be better at what you're doing. They will support you prayerfully. There's a praying wife community. Sometimes you have this, uh, you, you don't have time to pray, yeah. which you're supposed to create time, but maybe you're, there's work pressure, there's that, your emotions are all over the space. Give it to them. Mm -hmm. there's, that, there's that community there that can sit in for you. Mm -hmm. There's a community that can cancel you. I remember I was talking with a friend of mine and she was telling me about how to be able to up my finances yeah. while having a nine to five so you have those people who will be able to support you get those communities it must not it must not be a world of people mm -hmm. yes but have the have good ideas communicate with people who can be able to groom these ideas and put in the work mm -hmm. put in the work put in the work put in the work wow. the bible says work for the night is coming. coming when man works no, no more let the night not meet you mm -hmm. when you're still procrastinating you're still planning mm -hmm. and if while you're planning get doing it mm. True. while you're planning get doing it mm. start and keep planning the plan will be adjusting mm. it's it up it's it wow like thank you so much for all these insights i've been learning here as you have see, i'm taking notes in my head i'm taking notes because Actually, do not live in isolation, but ensure that you choose your community rightly right. and yes. also set your priorities right. As she said, you don't have to be everywhere. You don't have to be everybody's best because in this journey, there are things that you need to get away from. So you, you are going to prioritize what is necessary 
for this season maybe these other things you are going to come back to them but then today is not the time for you to do it so you should know how to communicate it in love and in peace to whosoever because there's some yeah. people that they, they they feel angry when maybe they invite you somewhere and you don't come no that's that's true see that's true. like there is that I'm, some people say that because you don't marry Yes. That because you have children, that because we too will go marry, yes. we too will have that job, we too will be sorry that I'm putting English and pigeon, okay? So this is how we are doing it here, okay? So we too will do this and that, you understand? But what is my identity, as she said? This season of my life, I'm not supposed to be doing that because, I, see, time waits for no one. That's one thing you cannot regain back. Mm -hmm. Once it has gone, it has gone. But thank God for grace for redeeming the time. Yes. But then, before God wants to redeem the time, first of all, ensure that you do your own part. Yes. Anybody say we should work our salvation. We have a part to play. To play. Yes. Don't just sit down that, okay, we are going to sit down and then God will just be doing it. No, you have a part to play. That is why some people have to water plant and then God has to make it to grow. So if you don't play your own part, then heaven will not play its part. That's right. So please, as a mother, as a wife, you have a role to play. And take it with your full chest that you are taking care of your home. You are being intentional with your purpose. Because all this is purpose. Yes. All this we are talking about is purpose. So as long as God is praised, then the rest are noise makers. So if God be praised and he's accepting what you are doing in this season, go for it. And the Lord is going to back you up. And the time that you will have for these other things, see, you will let, the things will be coming and you are saying you will be rest and say, ah, I better over and relax and I leave up. So during this burning and pruning time, during this pruning time, just ensure that you are in Christ, as she said, and he's going to help you. It's not going to be easy. It could be the word of the Lord says that the thieves come not only to steal, to kill, to kill and to, to destroy. destroy. So he is going to come. But then, because some people feel like what we tend to come to Christ is that you'll be, you'll be rosy. You hear somebody saying, no, I'll not be believing in God because since I came into Christ, you know, my finances are no more working, and my progress have increased, my this, this, this. Then that job would have just died. No, that's, I think that is coming from the place. And this is something that we're going to maybe sometime on the YouTube yes. channel we're going to talk about when you hear someone talking like that mm -hmm. first you need to look at the heart posture of that person mm -hmm. if that person is having a liability heart posture I'm big on that yes if that person is having a liability mm -hmm. heart posture you're coming to God because you're like you God I need 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 no your heart posture mm -hmm. should be able to be, be tuned in yeah. the frequency of love and love is given it's, it's a necessary element in yeah. love is giving so check your heart posture True. you will see why you complain that when you came to cry yeah. you this happened this happened this happened and this did not happen that's oh. just it that's true. Because I mean, that's is all my life. Where I'm like, Father, if you do this, I will praise you. If you don't still do it, I will still praise you because it is not your emotions that make God to act. Seriously, sincerely. Yes. And the grace that He's given us is that He has. We have the grace mm -hmm. to be in the, His perfect will. We also have a secondary grace to be in His permissible will. So you cannot miss out on the two. Imagine that you have two of them and you just decide to miss out on it. Because you're murmuring, because you're grumbling, because your heart posture is liable. Like, no, yeah. you, you cannot do that. But Aria, please choose a community where I have my. I see, you, you, you see my community. Like, have you, have you seen it? Ah! Thank you very much, Marie. Like, oh. we can go on and on and on, but we also pity one at that time, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much for gracing the Royal Chamber. Thank you very much. I'm hoping you're going to come again. And please, you have a YouTube channel. And she is going to restart it back in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> the prophetess has said what's wrong. Yes, I bet. She will restart it back. See, her channel that goes be wonderful. Their life happened and then she had to hurt. So by God's will, she will get back into that season. So it's not pressure. Mm -mm. When the rest of that, she will start. Even me, I was putting pepper. Start, start, start. So I'm looking for her to say, okay, God has said, let me start. So I was ringing her phone all the time. Start to start. So please, tell her to subscribe. So your it was nice. I had this opportunity and I'm grateful for it. I have been on this channel and I've had the opportunity to listen and be blessed by Minister Mba, Drusilia, the Ipus, minister for me, Ziku, <laughs> and many other people who have come to this channel. We are growing and we are trusting God that 
we are going to get better each and every day and we can only get better if you partner with us mm. because we are getting better you are getting better and we are getting better so why not subscribe like of course share sometimes your status is empty i know it i see it <laughs> so let's do the little thank you you have a blessed day oh thank you very much my brother for listening if you have listened to this time in which you loved it we are very grateful for your time it's not easy to just sit down on your screen and watch two ladies just be speaking but i know that you learned something and in case you did please tell us in the comment section and in case you want a wonderful you know another topic with this wonderful lady let us know and we are going to pray that god will make us make the video so please always comment for those who have been commenting we appreciate you for those who have been liking thank you for those who have been sharing thank you for those who have been subscribing we love you and you need to subscribe please join the family by subscribing you will love it here trust me so till next time we are your wonderful servants bye bye, bye.